Hey guys, this is Chris with Battle Beaver Customs, and today we have a Microsoft controller with the thumbstick blown out. If you look, I'm all the way forward. We're barely moving here. We can take this controller, I'm trying to do this with one hand, and you can look, we're not touching it. The return to center is pretty much fried. It's all because the sensors they used in here aren't quite holding up to spec. There we go again, all the way forward. Kind of getting some speed out of there, but it's not. I mean, look at that. All the way forward, we're not even moving. So we're gonna switch this one out. All right, back. we're back. We're gonna go ahead and replace this right here. Uh, tools you need, soldering iron, good little tip on there. I like to have some sort of a solder sucker. I like this big solder pullet. Pretty awesome. Um, and get this tore down. And be now right I have the back of the board. This section right here are your points for your replacement potentiometer or dual input joystick control, whatever they call this thing now. I'll be selling these. These are OEM replacement. These aren't some Chinese knockoffs. So we're gonna go in, desolder those. Gonna show you how this works on one. I probably have turned the video off because I can't work around the camera too well. Get on your solder till it warms up. Once that solder turns molten, put your sucker on there, suck it out. See how that has an exposed pin in there? Do that the other times and take that joint. Alright, once you get this all unsoldered, you just take and you can pull the old one right out. Take the new one, shove it in, line up the pins, and solder it back in place. And we'll be back when it's all put back together. This is a stock one. We're looking at the bottom of this. I notice it's not going down all the way. On the gray one, the replacement. They use different colors. Happens all the time. There's two little tabs on there. We need to take those off. So take an X-Acto knife, hack those off, and then... Once you get it. that in place, I usually solder one or two connections just to hold its spot. And then just go in. Solder all these back in. Doesn't take but a second. That's what it looks like with the replacement. Then you just take your thumbstick, hopefully a domed one, and line it up. Boom. Slide it on. And we'll get All right, got everything out. put back together. Back in gaming mode. Look at this. Normal movement again. Runs. No problem. Forward. Consistent. And you let go of your stick. Great return to center. No floating. I'd call that fix, and it's straight on OEM, so you don't have any weird resistance curves or not. All of a sudden going from walking to sprinting, it's exactly how it should feel. And this is Battle Beaver Customs. If you need yours fixed, get it done. If you need these buttons put on the bottom, let me know.